go in here all the lights are on it's What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So, today is a big day for me, man. Big day. It's a big day for all of us, actually. Um, Been through a lot in the past year, I would say, overall. It's been a while. Uh, for those of you who don't know, for whatever reason, I had a shop fire. Since then, I have completely revamped the shop, painted, got it back to square one. And now we're at another important transition period. So you guys saw the title of the video. Let's get right into it. Is out. They say to do an inventory check. There's so many pieces though. It's going to take a little minute. But yeah, got all the pieces out, all the boxes. I think these are the lights. Some other stuff in there. But I can't believe they fit all of this in this box. It's a big box, but you would have thought that all of this stuff would have taken <laughs> a box twice as big. But it's crazy. Uh, MNR Diff 2.0 on the way. up y'all so i'm not sure exactly what you guys saw on the time lapse but this is kind of like the end of the first day it doesn't look like we did much but it took us quite a while and a few of the pieces actually ended up being mislabeled so it was kind of a little bit of a long day but i think the base of the structure like the foundation is this back piece and from there it's gonna get i wouldn't say easier per se but i think the hard part is just about done so <laughs> doing up there cuz <laughs> you about to add booth builders to your resume hey, this shit coming along. one more section man there's some gaps but I'm about to I only put like screws in the corners to keep it moving but, sheesh. that's crazy
dip booty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I did lose some footage of the second half of the time lapse building of the booty. But, um, yeah, as you can see, the structure is officially up. And I would say with what I have left to do, I'm probably about 70% there. So the next step to the puzzle is to uh, get the glass and the lights mounted in. legend Mike's here aka Mr. Legs <laughs> you can see him he's up there he started um laying the uh the wiring for the lights and we're gonna get it done man um I've been haven't been doing a great job of recording everything um you guys saw what it took to mount the one light and it was such a pain I forgot to record the other ones but it was pretty much the same process um, first you clean the edge, you caulk the edge, put the glass in, then you put the, the, let me show you. After you put the glass in, um, you put these, uh, these mounts. You probably can't tell, but after you put the glass in, you put like another piece of metal and screw that down. And it has an edge, like an elbow that goes across and up. And that keeps the glass in place. Then once you put the light, you put the little tab like this, that holds the light in. And so I did that for all of these lights. And I had to wait to do this side because once this side, the lights need to be wired in before I can actually mount them, which is why Mike is here. Um, but yeah, I also, what I also didn't catch on camera was the fact that I put the glass in for the doors. So the glass is in, we did that. It's almost there, man, like 80%. I'm excited. This one's installed differently because I'm not gonna have access to maintenance if the outside of the booth is right along the wall. I don't know if I said that already or not. But this one's mounted and the rest of them are wired up. So basically, um, that's where we're at. So kind of the process is, you can see I already put the uh, foam tape around. That's gonna create the first seal between the light and the booth. Then the light goes in. And then after that, these brackets have foam in between them and the glass. So once it gets screwed in, now it has foam on the inside plus in between the bracket and the glass. So, yeah. Here, Kenny. <laughs> right. 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 Instant fail. You don't got the doodads. <laughs> so, basically, the point where we're at now is we're ready to uh, hoist the fan motor on top of the boot. And so we did the rib nuts, drilled the holes, did the rib nuts all the way around. I felt like that was the best way to do it. And um, just got back from your local department store with some bolts. 
not sponsored, but um, I'm gonna install a hook, attach this through the beam. I have a chain hoist, and we're gonna use the chain hoist to hoist the fan up here and somehow finagle it into place. <laughs> that DeWalt 22 millimeter joint. Yeah, so part of uh, the booth installation is you gotta secure it to the floor. And I already got a few spots, but um, I'm only gonna show you this one time. So pay attention. Take your DeWalt 22 millimeter. firmly close your eyes all right so moment of truth we got just about everything wired up first test he's gonna turn the power on at the breaker and then oh oh uh oh we got something the V, what'd you call it? VFD. The VFD. Don't ask me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess uh, what's left? Just flip the switch on the outside for the lights? The lights. Oh! <laughs> <clears throat> what? It's bright in here, baby. Oh, snap. That's crazy. What you think, Mike? It's good. Very good. He like, it's bright. <laughs> and I like. Yeah, these are nice. Man, you thought the lights? You thought the lights was exciting? We finna test out the fan, baby. It's spinning like this. It's in the right line to keep it, otherwise you feel it. Blowing it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, sir. And we got the variable speed is still low. It's on like, what is it, like 20%? Like 21%. So. She barely on, baby. But that's all we need. We ain't trying to blow no dirt all up on the ceiling because the, the piping is still not done yet. I don't know if you can see up there. The piping is not up there yet. That's been- I'm turn it up a little bit. For, that's- right. Yep. You ready? Do your thing, player.
last clip. This whole process has been drawn out throughout maybe two weeks, maybe more. So pretty much where we're at now, uh, and I'm pretty sure I'm actually probably missing some footage as well as far as like some of the steps, but don't you worry about that. So I'm gonna take you guys into the MR Diffs 2.0 paint boot. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm hyped, I'm not gonna lie. So just a quick little overview. We got the box right here. My boy Mike, you saw him wiring that up. Got the lights. You go in here. All the lights are on. It's super bright in here. Um, the only thing I might do is this little area is a little dark. I don't know if you can kind of tell on camera, but I might hang one more like LED strip light right here just to get some extra little light in this little area. Um, <clears throat> something else I did off camera, I went ahead and installed um, my 30 foot hose reel and uh, you guys saw me putting in the filters. I'm hyped, bro. Like, what? <laughs> like, that boy got an entire paint booth in the shop. Like, that's crazy. So, um, another little update. Like I said, this whole video has been kind of spanned out over the course of like two, maybe three weeks. Um, I did have my first inspection had my first inspection and I passed all the categories with that being said that's pretty much it man um there's some other stuff that I do want to show you guys but I'm gonna save it for another video um but hopefully with this setup now it's been a very long process between the fire which happened almost eight months ago bro to now has been like organized chaos I could say that like I've done a pretty good job of you know keeping my mental straight during the entire process um it was hard um but i am finally nearing that like finish line that that final <sighs> exhale moment um and that'll be pretty much after the uh final inspection is done so i'm looking forward to that but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video comment let me know what type of content you guys want to see I'm definitely going to be having some prelude content coming up now that things are going to kind of get back to normal. But I'm also going to start uh, dropping some paint dipping slash dipping videos, more of that um, on the business side of things. So if you guys are looking forward to that, comment below, hit that like button. And if you're new, see that right there? That's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. I'll see you guys on the next one. Like the pride in my 